Every college has some kind of unique tradition, and at the University of Minnesota, it is no different. But theirs is planted in mystery. The shoe tree is exactly as it sounds, with hundreds of pairs of shoes hanging from its branches. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lawrenson shows us how they think the tradition got started. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I remember when I was touring my freshman year, I saw it and I was like, whoa. It doesn't matter if you're traveling east to west or west to east. Well, I've biked by here about a month and this is my first time seeing it, yeah. Once you see the tree that looks like it's growing shoes, you'll never not see it. If you need a new pair of shoes, you know where to go. True. True. There are hundreds of pairs, hanging Nikes, dangling Adidas, even boots and Birkenstocks, size 5, up to 15. Rumor has it that you haven't bought a pair of shoes in 10 years. Is that right? <laughs> That's right. Where are you get getting your own, shoes? Right? I get my own shoes right here. Yeah. <laughs> he really doesn't. U of M archivist Eric Moore knows that taking shoes off this tree would be like taking pennies out of a wishing well. At some point, somebody threw a pair of shoes in the tree, uh, and at some other point, somebody threw a second pair. From there, it just branched out, but its origin is rooted in mystery. Eric believes it began half a century ago when the Washington Avenue Bridge was relocated. It was moved about 50 years ago uh, and re-angled. Uh, so before that time, the bridge would have been about 100 yards north of here. Whether you're coming from the East Bank or West Bank, this tree located on the south side of the bridge is either the first one you see or the last one. And no matter what time of year it is, it's never bare. But why all the shoes? If you throw your favorite pair of shoes over and it catches onto one of the branches, you'll pass your finals and midterms. But then if it falls, then you'll end up failing. If that's the case, then there are some pretty disappointed students out there as more than one pair has failed to stick the landing. Other theories are that a student might do it right before they embark on a journey or before they graduate as a way to save their soul, so to speak. No one really knows for sure, but it's definitely caught the eye of students, professors, even visitors from other countries. Cool. What do you think of it? It's pretty cool. Typical student. <laughs> it's all right. We don't grow trees like this in Scotland. Can you spare your shoes? No. Today? <laughs> I only have one pair in my suitcase. <laughs> but plenty will. After all, it's tradition. So don't expect the shoe tree pruners to be out anytime soon. So you see a, a black pair of work shoes? Yeah, there. <laughs> Those will be yours? <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Eric told John that he thinks a lot of the shoes are tossed over the bridge at night. There are shoe tree traditions in other states like Idaho, Indiana, Michigan, and New York, just to name a few.